Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to create a container in Proxmox and set it up to run private internet access to encrypt all of your, your traffic going in and out of your, your system to the internet and if need be, make it appear that you're in a different part of the country or even world. Next on Low Res DIY. So why would you want a VPN like private internet access? Well, one, uh, privacy. It, it sets it up to where it's, everything is encrypted so your internet service provider uh, can't see what you're doing. You know, they don't need to know that you're on the internet looking up how to build a Nerf battle axe for your next LARPing adventure. That's none of their business. Uh, one of the other things is a lot of people use it for nefarious reasons like downloading pirated music and movies, uh, which is illegal. Uh, another reason is to make it appear that you're in a different part of the country or world. Let's say uh, your favorite sports team, all of a sudden the channel that carries it is no longer carried by Hulu and you can only get it through through uh, your local cable system and you don't want to subscribe to it well you can go and maybe subscribe to the NBA package or the NHL package or MLB package and uh, if you try to watch your local sports team they'll be blacked out but if you use a VPN and set it up to where it appears you're in let's say Atlanta where that game is not blocked out you'll be able to watch that game um, just a few reasons why you might want to have something, something like this set up on, uh, your computer or in your home lab. So with that, let's switch over to the computer and we'll show you how to set it up. Okay. I've already created a container in Proxmox. It's 102 called it PIA private internet access. And you'll notice it's not running. Well, one of the things you want to do is set up a tunnel that will allow your container to, to talk to the, um, the server that you're wanting to hook up to through PIA. So you'll want to go to your node. In this case, it's low res and go into your shell. And you want to navigate to this directory. You want to do a CD slash etc slash pve slash lxc hit enter and then do an ls and you'll see there's these config files in here you'll notice the numbers correspond with your container so this is container 100's configuration file we'll want to edit the 102 config file so we'll do a nano 102.config I obviously typed that wrong, so let's try it again. Once you're in that file, you'll want to add this line right here, which will create the tunnel that the container will use. Once it's added, and I'll have links to all of this in the description, so uh, you won't have to pause the video or anything, but once it's added, hold control, hit X, Yes, you uh, want to save the modified file and you want to keep it the name 102.config. Hit enter. Now you can go back to your container and let's start it up. Log on. And as always, do an apt update and an apt upgrade. Once it completes all the updates, we're going to want to install a few dependencies. So apt install, we're going to want to get curl, net tools, open VPN, open SSH server and unzip. Hit enter and let that run. Once it's complete, we'll be able to shift over. There'll be, well, it'll make a couple directories. And one of them is the open VPN, which we're going to want to go into that directory. So a CD four slash ETC four slash open VPN. And then we're going to want to download the certificate and 
all the server information for private internet access. This is the, uh, you do a wget and this is the path it'll go through. So you hit enter, it's a quick download and then we're gonna wanna unzip that file. You notice once it unzips, it has, this is all your server information. These are all the servers that you can log on to if you want to. Next up, we're gonna make a connection file. So we're going to do a nano four slash etc four slash open VPN and we're going to make a connect sh hit enter and in that we're going to want to copy and paste this string which tells the system how to log on to the server now I've got it set up to where right here when I log on it will log into the server out of Atlanta and then we're going to need to create this login text next so once you paste that in control x yes you want to save it enter and then we're going to create the login text file so nano etc hit enter and this is where you're going to copy in your username and password once you sign up for private internet access they're going to send you an email with a, a unique username I think they all start with P with a bunch of numbers after it and a unique password. First thing I would do is log on and I would change that password to something uh, that, that you're used to, but you can't change the username. So paste those two in there. First line will be your username. Second line is your password and that's it. Control X, save it, yes, enter. And then we're gonna make an IP table. Now, I didn't come up with this IP table. I actually saw another video uh, by Kraft Computing where he, he did pretty much the same thing, but in a VM and he used NordVPN for his setup. And he created this, or he, he found a website where this IP table was on there. So the, the, the biggest reason I, I wanna use this table is that let's say your VPN drops out for some reason, you become disconnected. Well, normally it will just keep uh, downloading. It will act like nothing changed, but you won't be routed through that VPN. Well, this IP table will cut off any connection to the internet. So if you lose connection with your VPN, that stops everything. There'll be no more traffic running through the system and you'll have to reboot or restart your VPN and log back in. And we're gonna go and we're gonna put this under the open VPN directory still and just call it iptables.sh. Oh, I'll have a link for that video from Craft Computing in, uh, in the description if you wanna check that out, out also. Hit enter and there's a whole long string of text here that needs to be copied and pasted in. One of the, the one thing, it took me a while to figure this out, but NordVPN uses a port of 1194. I had to change this to 1198. Once you have that in there, control X, yes, and save it. So pretty much everything's set up now that if we did want to start up the VPN, we would be able to, to log into the server in Atlanta and just this system would be uh, encrypted, just this container. Uh, I wanna set it up to where every time you boot this container up, it will start up and it will run the IP table, it will log into the server out of Atlanta and it will always be on the VPN. So to do that, we're going to want to make another file and call it startup. And this one we're gonna put under the user local sbin and we're just gonna call it startup.sh. Hit enter and what we're gonna do is add this script to it. And it tells the system that when it boots up, run the IP table, wait five seconds, then you're gonna to want to enable port forwarding. That will allow other systems or other, other uh, things on, on your, uh, local internet to access the VPN. And then you wanna start the VPN. So we're gonna hit Control X and save it, yes. Okay, once we get this file created, we want to make it an executable file. And to do that, 
we use this cron mod cron mod plus x the directory and the file name that you want to make executable and you hit enter next up we need to create a uh, system service file this is a uh, it's just another file that's needed to tell the system hey we want you to to start this program at boot it's a real simple script it just says a description at startup is when it's going to start and we want you to run this file and just the default user it doesn't matter same thing control x yes enter and everything's set up technically to run but we need to enable that startup service and the way we do that is with this string right here system ctl enable startup dot service hit enter it should enable it but let's check to make sure and let's see right there it is now enabled so hopefully we'll go ahead and do a reboot on this and when we reboot it it will have a different ip address but let's do a curl if config dot me and that shows my ip address that the uh my internet service provider is providing me right now it's not encrypted it still knows where i'm at and everything else so let's do a startup or a reboot with the system rebooted let's log back on and let's run that if config uh, script again and now our IP address is completely different 154.21.22.152 which is out of Atlanta so all right we got it set up everything's running the way we want it if we want here I set up a test container and I set the gateway as the server we just created so if we go into the console and we do an if config on this one, same IP address. So now that everything's set up and running properly, you can either A, go to each piece of individual piece of hardware that you want to have encrypted traffic on and set this container up as its, its gateway, or B, go to your router, set this up as your first DNS server, and then all traffic throughout your entire home will be, be encrypted. Um, a few things I do want to mention before we end the video. Let's bring, let's bring this back up and let's have a look at that IP table again. If you're not using the 192.168.1.0 uh, as your IP addresses, say you're using a 10.0.1.0 or a 192.168.0.0, you're going to need to change it. These four areas right here, you're going to need to change it to whatever scheme you're using. Uh, I'm using the 168.1.1, so this works for me. Also, the one other thing, let's check out our connection file. Let's say you don't want to go out of Atlanta. Out of Atlanta. You can just scroll over and change this to whatever you want. You want to be out of Sweden, restart your server. You're going to get an IP address out of Sweden. Myself, I, I'm just going to use Atlanta no i do not want to save it if let's see if you want a list of all the servers you can just do a, a ls command under the open vpn directory and here they all are so if you're just curious that we've got mongolia and whatever it's just servers all over the world Change those two things, or change that line, and that will change things around for you. So, until next time, hit that subscribe button, like it if you liked it, and thanks for watching. <laughs>